In this lecture we're going to look at design layer and class options. Design layer options control how we see objects and other layers and the same thing applies to class options. Let's start with design layer options. This is our navigation palette. If you click on the design layer tab you can see our design layers and you can see that the design layers are there to bracket 1 and bracket 2. This column here controls visibility so it's visible, invisible or grey. So at the moment I've got both layers visible but I can't see the other layer, bracket 2, because my layer options are set to active only. If I choose grey others I'll be able to see the other layer but I won't be able to snap onto it. If I change that to grey snap others I can see it and snap onto it. These layer options that I'm dealing with at the moment are also available if you right click away from everything. Layer options and there they are there, active only, grey others and so on. So grey snap others is really useful because we can see the other information, we can see it's grey so we know it's in another layer but we can still snap onto it. The next option, show others. So now we can see the other layer in the same strength that we can see our current layer and you can see here it's a little confusing as to which area or which object is which because they overlap. Grey snap others so now I can see the other layer and I can snap onto it. And the final one, show snap modify others. Now just be careful of this one because show snap modify others allows you to select objects in other layers and change them even though our active layer is bracket 1 we can select an object in another layer. I suggest you leave this until you have more experience with Vectorworks. So show snap others, show others, grey snap others or grey others and then finally active only. Now the same thing is available for classes right click class options but I suggest do not change this option from show snap modify others if you change it to any other class option you will sometimes find you can't select objects you'll think Vectorworks has locked the information it hasn't it's this class option so do not change it away from show snap modify others for classes Layers, great. Change them as much as you want. Classes, leave it on this always. Let's have a look at controlling layers and classes. If we go to Tools on the menu bar, there's a option to open the Organization dialog box. This Organization dialog box shows you all your layers, classes, stories, and so on. If you're using Vectorx Architect, you'll have stories. If you're using Vectorx Landmark or other design programs, you won't see that. Let's look at design layers. So we've seen before these columns, invisible, grey, and so on. And in this part, Vectorx is replicating the navigation palette over here. To create a new layer, we can click on the new button. We can enter a name for this layer click OK and there's our new design layer here. Now when I click OK that design layer will turn up here as well. If you want to edit a layer you can select it then click on the edit button and you can rename layers and you can change their elevation and their stacking order. You can also change their stacking order just by dragging the layer up and down with that number. If you want to get rid of a layer you can select it then you can click on the delete button. Are you sure you want to get rid of this? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. If you click on the Class tab, we can change our classes. So again, we have the ability to have classes visible, invisible, or grey. And you can choose the active class by clicking in this column here. Just like you can choose the active design layer by clicking on that column. You can create new classes. and you can give it a name and classes can be used to control the graphic style of objects so here once we've created a new class we can change the graphic style or we can choose the graphic style we can choose what the fill is, what the pen is, what the textures are and so on so that makes classes very powerful for controlling the graphic style of objects if you don't want that class anymore we can delete it you can also right click to create new classes, to edit classes, to create new design layers, edit design layers and so on. 
When you finish that, click OK. And you'll now notice that the bolts are now visible. If we go back to classes on our navigation palette, we can turn the bolts invisible. We can also turn the washers invisible. Just because you change a class invisible doesn't mean that you've thrown the information away. It's still there. It's just that you can't see it at the moment. When you draw objects, they're always drawn on the active class and on the active layer. And once you've drawn them, you can change the class on this pop-up menu here. So if I assign that to stainless steel, and you'll notice the stainless steel has a grey colour to it. If I assign it to steel, it doesn't have the same colour. If I assign it to none, it doesn't have the same colour. If you've created it on the wrong layer, you can always change the layer here. I'm just going to undo that. If you need to create a new class when the object is selected, you can click on New Class and create a new class for that object. And if you need to create a new layer, you can click here and choose New Design Layer, and that will assign your object to that design layer. When you're creating layers and classes, you may want to know when you should create a new layer for something and when you should create a new class. I've got three simple rules. Number one, layers. Use layers when you want to structure your file to create groups of objects. From a landscape point of view, you would have a layer for the base information, another layer for the planting, and perhaps a layer for the hardscape. From an architectural point of view, you would have a layer for each major part of the building. Foundations, ground floor, first floor, roof, etc. Another use for layers is to use layers to structure your information for reporting and scheduling. Allowing you to say, I just want to pick all the walls that are on that layer. Or I want to only schedule up the plants that are on that layer. And the third rule is use layers when you want to have information at different scales. For example, you might want the site plan at one scale and a floor plan at another scale. Details, for example, are better if you draw them on a different layer at a different scale. So my three rules for layers, use layers to structure your file, number one. Number two, use layers to structure your information for scheduling and reporting. And rule number three, use layers for things at different scales. What about classes? I've got three rules for classes. Number one. Use classes to control visibility. Create a new class for objects that must have their visibility controlled separately from other objects. Number two, use classes to control the graphic style of objects. And number three, you can use classes to control scheduling and reporting. For example, use classes to control objects when you want to count or report their areas separate from other objects. The advantages of doing it this way is that as you add objects to the drawing, they will appear in the report as long as they're on the correct class.